go forward against Sly. We'll find out if they can in this game. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game two between Team GG and various triads. Game one was definitely uh, uh, favorable over to Notorious Triads. They put the herd down on Team GG. Coming into game two, Scoundrel, my question to you is, is this a draft that GG can execute on maybe a little better? Well, they certainly have a little bit more late game scaling here with a bit more uh, of an easier to execute team fight in their hand as well. Reza can dive really nicely onto the back line, although the only person he could really dive on is to the Vox and he's quite mobile. But regardless, you've got a bit more firepower coming in the range department, so you don't need to make that all or nothing committal that they had to make in the last game. So yes, very much agree that I think this is going to be a slightly easier draft to execute on than we saw previously. However, I'd be worried for Kestrel's life in all of these team fights. Glaive and Idris, that's going to hurt. Yeah, it's going to hurt. She's going to have to be careful. One of the big things I feel like they're going to have to vision wherever they're fighting. They're going to have to make sure that they can't see this Kestrel when she dips down into that active camo. She's going to have to be mobile. Yeah. You also got to remember this is the first time for a while that I've seen a CP Vox in the mid lane. So he's going to have that gold input coming in or allow him to scale up really nicely. We don't often see too much CP Vox. He's kind of outclassed by a lot of other mages in the current meta. But with only Reza to threaten him in these team fights, he might be able to stack up those Dragon's Eyes really nicely and actually put insane damage out in these last, uh, so these later game team fights. That's pretty curious. Uh, what would makes you think they will go with uh, something like that? The CP? Yeah. He's got a crystal bit. The Vox? No, the Idris. Oh, I thought you said Vox. Um, oh, no, yeah. no, no. CP Idris in the mid lane. So yeah, it's, it's just, it's a while since I've seen a CP Idris. So I was uh, a little bit interested to see where he went with it. But yeah, yeah, definitely going to be a CP address. He's going to get they're going to get hard bullied by this combo though of the uh, the fortress and the, the Samuel though. Two yeah. melee's versus Samuel. Samuel's going to eat that for dinner. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a tasty little dinner. And uh, as you said, man, it feels like they're going to be able to bully him. Not only they have the range advantage, they'll have the move speed advantage. They're uh, they're going to have the sustain. Like th this is just great for them. Yeah, and uh, if they can starve the Idris of farm as much as possible that'll be great for them because Samuel will spike a lot earlier than Idris will I haven't seen Idris in the meta for quite a while the CP variant but I feel like he's still going to be one of those uh, carries that needs two to three items to come online although Reza you're done you're done son spicy fries will go ahead and take that one I think it was merciless pursuit to get him in there and first blood over to Nor the notorious triads and uh feels good for them yeah, and they're going to look to use this opportunity to try and press some vision or at least some pressure down in the enemy CP side jungle. Also relieves a bit of pressure in the mid lane because Samuel now is by himself, supported by Tony, so doesn't have that fortress backup. And this might allow Lissandra a bit more time to CS. He isn't that far behind, to be honest. I expect him to be further behind, given that the uh, liner has been pushing him into the turret over and over again. But maybe the CSing from liner just hasn't been that sweet. Or maybe the CSing from Lissandra has just been really good, even though he's been getting shoved in. Yeah, I mean, that's it's two different ways you can look at it. Like, sometimes early game, like tons of attack damage, so it's hard to get those last hits, but it also means that it's constantly you're not in danger because it's under your own turret. So, that does yeah. mean that you, you can attempt to get all those last hits, and yeah, he's doing a pretty good job thus far. Uh, VJ0 zoning Reza VG out over here as we'll take the crystal tree, and in fact, potential that Reza goes down. No, they don't have the move speed, they won't be able to chase him down, but you can see massive damage out though. Yeah, absolutely. They put him very, very low. He doesn't have that flask for another 40 seconds, and now he's got to sit in lane with this Samuel. There was always going to be that threat of the Glaive dive coming through as well. This is good stuff from Notorious Tribe. This is what they would have wanted to try and lament this early Samuel aggression. I feel like, I mean, we talked about this before, like team having game one jitters. It's, it's also, I mean, there's game one jitters. There's also, um, for less practice teams, teams that maybe are at a professional level of, of like a skill level, but don't have the experience. Like sometimes you come into game one and you respect your opponent's ability to, to play against you so much that you don't do everything you can to just stomp them right away. It, I, for me, it felt like Notorious Triads, the later that game went, the more aggressive they were playing. Obviously they were getting stronger, but I wouldn't be surprised to see them just put the hurt down a lot uh, sooner in this game. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think that's definitely the case. You've got a uh, good engage with the, uh, the 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 glaive. He can definitely set things up for isolated kills. Looks like we're going to see... One shot! One kill! Team GG. Oh. That was, that was surprising. I was not expecting that, Humanist. That was right across the map. Nice snipe there <laughs> by the Gestral. Holy moly. Fucking sweet, man. Agree. Agree. 
Uh, interesting itemization choice coming out from the Idris's first item, by the way. He's going for the alternating current, which means he's going to be slow to unlock his passive unless he then fills up on crystal bits afterwards as well. Unsure. I, I, I usually just like uh, unlocking my passive. Alternating current is useless if you don't have your passive unlocked. That, that's my qualm with this particular build. True. I don't know. I don't have much to say about that one. Liner will it's getting into position, so he's not backed with that afterburn there. Reza just kind of hanging back and making sure that he's not going to get in trouble. And that's the <laughs> VJ Zero. Okay. He'll move over. Oh, oh, get out of that active Caro. He will, but the one shot comes through. Taps him in the booty, but the Vanguard is there from Moss 3. Not a big deal. Spicy Fries has moved up from the bottom. Afterburn connects onto Mesa. Oh, that's the totally ultimate. Astral. And will he get chased down? No, he'll stay in his grounds back. Spicy Fries is the one to go down. As GG pick up a kill, they're going to go into Lissandra. They've both been down this Tony. There's a big Tony. He got that big ult, comes in. He'll clean up the kills. Moss 3 repositions the Vanguard onto VJ Zero, but now doesn't have it for himself. Healing Flask, but it doesn't matter. Corrupt the genius liner. Of course, we already knew that about you. He'll pick that one up, and suddenly it is four to what? Over here is Team GG. Take the lead. Damn, that was an insane Tony ultimate right there. Kept the Kestrel alive, separated everybody on the team coming out from um, coming out from Notorious Triad and allowed them to be isolated and stunned down by that Tony too. That was the GG moment of that team fight, and that has set up his team for a really strong mid game here as well because it's really stopped that pressure that Notorious Triad were putting out. And they lose both their own CP buff and the enemy CP buff that the Samuel is going to be able to pick up. So now the Kestrel and the Samuel have the CP buffs. That has put a stopper on what felt like a game that was going in the Notorious Triad's favor. Up in top, things were getting quite interesting. Anil was low, turret was dropping low as well. It felt like it was going to be a turret or a kill. Reza makes his uh, his move up in the top, so he'll kind of thwart some of that aggression, and they're going to be free to get out of that one. But th that was easily uh, a kill if if that uh, fortress rotated. Maybe I don't know two two three seconds later. Yeah. I, th I absolutely agree. Uh, the one thing I'm now starting to worry about is this Reza has got his first item, but he's not going to be activated in these team fights. I mean, alternating current is just like a poor man's weapon power Reza. Although they're diving, the uh, Idris. I meant, I meant to talk about. I meant to say Idris. I just was thinking about the Reza getting dived at the same time. <laughs> this is gonna be okay. Ryan VG Sonic. Out of that one, Ali Poker has a lot of damage. It's not gonna be enough when there's three of notorious triads there. These one shots flying across the map. I gotta say, I'm liking Mason Kest. Yeah, he's been really strong in terms of the cross map play. Ali Poker even gets that with the taunt. Ryan wants to try and make him pay for oh, it, but he's doing some whoa. insane damage. What oh my god! Tell me, Maxman, are you seeing this taunt over the wall? Get out of here! Oh man, that is Tony in the early game, by the way. That is that is why his um, A is getting nerfed because it's insane damage with just a spell sword. I mean, that was like three quarters of that Vox's HP just from Tony's yeah. A. That is, that's pretty ridiculous. Like, you can kind of see why it's getting nerfed now. Oh, that's why, obviously, like, that is such a good... Uh, Attack of the Pack comes out. This is a Ghost Wing capture potential. This is dangerous territory. Mason, he had to try and make the play. They will get the Ghost Wing, but Mason goes down. But two fall from Notorious Triads. Make that four. It's a one for four combo of a hot sail down by Ghost Wing. Get there before it's over. Oh, and they pick up Ghostwing as well. Ghostwing buff is going to start to pressure this mid lane tier one as they move towards it. That was a bad fight for Notorious Tried to take. They don't have that Vox in tow. Looks like he's going to be able to stop them for the moment, but the one shot, one kill is good once more. This guy mm. is a cross map sniper mm. right here. It's tasty. I mean, this is how they should be flying out. But you know what? What impresses me is like, I feel like connecting and flying out like we got a CP Kestrel. But this is a weapon Kestrel. It is, and then the Weapon Cow Kestrel does have a really good scaling on her ultimate as well. So you, obviously, people don't expect it, but it does do insane damage. Not as much as CP Kestrel, but it does do insane damage. So uh, you always have to be careful. The, uh, finally, Idris has got his heroic perk unlocked a little bit late. Probably would have been useful in some of the previous fights, but regardless, now with that unlocked and the alternating current in tow, he will start to be a bit more impactful in these fights. See how it's gonna play out. Now Oblivion comes down into mid. It will put Idris to sleep. There's the jump in. Deeds of Gauntlet as the elbow comes down. Shimmer Strike, reposition back. Lissandro is not gonna be enough. Rez is here. One shot flies into mid, does not connect. That was almost the two kills onto the mid lane. And this is Notorious Triads trying as for 
mid down. Vox is still up in top. He had shoved that lane out, or I kind of defended the lane, making his way back over here now. And you've gone to throwing kill over to Team GG as Team GG turn up the heat. I I don't know what's exactly going on here. It just Reza. feels like they kind of throw. Ooh. Vox found a Neil. Oh, okay. He's going to get away. We're cool. The one silver lining for Notorious Triad has been that Vox has just been essentially farming by himself. He's got a decent amount of farm on his back pocket. He's still kept level with the Kestrel. He's also heading up towards his core uh, offensive items. He has actually really sacrificed on defense and is looking for pure damage output. That's another snipe just for the sake of sniping. Uh, but that is something that is a silver lining for Notorious. If they do group up, this Vox will have to be respected. His damage output will be good enough. And uh, overall, he could find a way back into this game for Notorious Tribe. But right now, it's all GG squad. They just need to continue that pressure. The Idris is so far behind, it hurts. Uh, and they just can't team fight. Woo! He's getting tore up from the floor. Lissandro dancing back with the Shroud Step. Spicy fries. Now, it looks like he got him. The attack of the pack is real. He got wrecked down. And once again, I just gotta say, like, Ryan VG on this box is just nowhere to be found. And Anil may be having some connection issues. Remember, players are responsible for their own connections. <laughs> just add that just add that disclaimer there right at the end. And I agree, yeah, Anil just uh, gets taken down by Ryan on the sideline there. Again, it, it feels bad. There is always a, a question that needs to be asked in these situations of, do you respect the AFK or not? No, nah, um, dude, a lot of get people... wrecked. Yeah, well, exactly. Some people will say it's competitive. You sort your own connections out. Some people say it's BM. It's very difficult to have a right answer for that situation. What if, like, if, like a lion's chasing a gazelle, planes... It, the, the gazelle disconnects? Oh, I've just got to wait, guys. Wait I'm for the gazelle to get back online. Like, I'm hungry as hell, but just go ahead and get up and run away, gazelle. No. Players responsible <laughs> for their own connections. Humanists. Got no chill, man. Got no chill. Uh, no mercy is what well, I got. We, we can tell who's the lion here, right? Rawr. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, it's like I'm just nice. tired Thanks, of all playing and making excuses. Bullish, you know. Liner stunned up. Anything to follow? Gauntlet comes down. This looks like it could be a good fight. Arden falls, but the damage is there. Ryan VG is part of this fight. Mason drops into the active gamble, gets one, but they turn it around. Ryan VG, he's got the breaking point stacks. Let's go, Vox. Let's go, Vox. Triple kill. Get yourself a quadra. Sonic Zoom will tap Reza as he gets himself out of that one. But a great fight for Notorious Triads. Best fight they've had so far this game. And they'll start to pull themselves a little bit closer back into this one. Yeah, I mean, they are now facing what looks like a four versus five. Oh no, Rez is back. Rez is back, boys. It's back to being a five versus five. But all of that lead that was accrued in the early game has been undone. Ryan is also hella rich right now. 2,200 gold to work with. Oh He's man. Is he trying to share that gold oak? I don't really know what he was doing with that. Maybe trying to gift it over to Lissandro because he needs the gold more than he does. He should be able to finish up Tornado Trigger now and also work towards his defensive itemization. Like we said, this was a silver lining for Notorious Triad. The Vox is super farmed and pretty fed now as well. This is going to be a thorn in the side for GG. I'm quite excited to see this uh, reversal of momentum happening because... While it's not a throw, quite, it has the inklings of it, and uh, I always love a good throw myself. One well, shot. We have an engage. To finish off the ghost swing as Attack of the Pack comes out. It feels like more of a zoning tool than anything. A two man taunt, actually. Well, spicy fries in place, and Catherine, I thought you were tanky, but you're getting roasted down. Lissandro's here, actually doing good damage. Mason trying to get back into the axe. I'm going to find a stun, stays alive, just want to slip. Hashtag calculated this guy's calculator that was insane because he actually overextended to try and kill the catherine who still had a storm shield up and he still wasn't punished for it because the reza walked directly on top of a trap that had been laid down vox needs to be in these fights here for notorious tribe that's a great oblivion Ooh, that is a nice um, clipped with the one shot there they'll have to respect the damage as team gg will regroup and back up holding on to a 4k net worth advantage here well, they might have a disconnect. They might have killed the AFK, but they still get the gold lead. It's just this served, humanist. The gazelle reconnected, grew giant fangs, somehow sprouted wings, and actually destroyed the lion. That's that's what you get, mate. That's what you get for killing a gazelle that disconnects. Dude. It actually mutates. A herd of gazelle can kill a sleeping lion any day. And well, you could kill me, kill me while I'm AFK. I don't care. I'll tank this turret up. Get him, though. Maybe he's gone too far. No, you can get in there. Get that kill. Oh, Neil playing scared. 
he it could be to his own demise over here. Maybe he's just uh, he's just on patrol, just patrolling back and forth here. Yeah, and they're also down and bottom. The bottom side of the map. Yeah, the bottom side DJ of the map. DJ Zero. He's got the aspirin. Mason drops into the act. Camel turns around. Couple glimmer attacks. We then he's got spicy fries. Ali Poker trying to set him up. Bada boom! Sandro knocked back. Spicy fries will be able to get out of this because they switch to the Idris. They'll also take the turret as well. Ali Poker could be looking for more. And it looks like uh, Team uh, GG starting Blacklaw on the top side of the map. Arden is there. Well, that means he's not with his team down and bottom. Oh, this Kestrel is starting to become a problem, Humanist. Huge damage output with the Tyrant's Monocle there as well. And maybe she works towards that Slumbering Husk into a fourth offensive item. You can see this Idris is just not in a position to be able to contest her. The, the, the Catherine as well, I don't think being nearly aggressive enough. Pop Storm Shield, run into the middle of a trap and make her proc it. That's the best way to play into her. You, you do it against CP Kestrel because the damage rebuttal is huge. Do it against the Weapon Power Kestrel so the Idris doesn't have to worry about it, man. Just go in there slam dunk her with the stun if you can and allow Idris to actually get some damage down because right now doesn't look like anyone is threatening Maysam in these fights dude somebody just get in there and slam dunk her break the backboard shatter the glass get in there and tear up that kestrel well, they're going to go in for this Black Claw. There is some vision there. They have started this. this is, I mean, Vox is in the wrong position right now. He's shopping instead of reacting. This might be a late one. All right. Well, he's going to be late to the park. No, he's going to get over here. Uh, dude, the, the Black Claw is not being taken down. Ghostwing lands on the other side of the map. They're doing everything, even the one shot coming through. To and it's also going to be the Bada Boom to split this fight up. But at the beginning of it, Moss 3 has dropped. Didn't use Fountain, didn't use War Treads. Now it's time to kite. Box is not incredibly tanky, but he has the damage. Doesn't matter when he's focused down. Don't have your Arden. You're not supported. That's a waste of all your team's resources. Tony will throw his own life away as he says goodbye to this world. Black Claw, healthy, moving in. Anil will be knocked back and taken down. A little overzealous, but baited. They baited Glaive in. Glaive gets taken down by this Castro Mason. The tear. This Tony has been absolutely instrumental to these fights. What an incredible ultimate in the Black Claw pit to make sure that this team secures it by knocking everybody out of it. There should have been a Crucible on that, to be honest, Humanist. There might have actually been a, a real attempt for a steal there. Mm. He made it so that they split everyone up. They gave them good targets to Kestrel. No one was able to do, uh, sort of aggress onto the Kestrel either. And one of the major issues that you're seeing right now from Notorious Triad is the Vox is the only target that the squad from GG actually care about. Lissandro's damage output is next to nothing right now with only two offensive items to his name and a little bit of defense. He needs to make sure he gets that gold up, works towards whatever he's going to go to. I imagine it's a Broken Myth as his third item because there is starting to see some serious magic resistance build up. Well, not magic resistance, we're not playing League of Legends. Shielding we're built up on the side of... I, I didn't think we were, but maybe we are. Maybe I'm just Maybe I'm just old and don't know what the game is anymore. Uh, yeah, yeah, he needs to, get, needs to get that Broken anymore. Myth on. You don't know what the world is? Well, the world is flat. I don't know if you knew that. Huh. Debatable. Everybody walking around with their talking calculators and tapping on things. And what are you going to do? This is it's mobile esports in uh, 2018 here. We're, we're in the future, squarely. Oh, this is just... I think this is just a, a, a attempt to turtle up and farm to interest his third item here for... Notorious Triad. Vox is pretty much done. It looks like he's working towards what I imagine is going to be a bone saw to help him chomp down that front line. He doesn't have a reflex block for the Atlas Pauldrons, though, and he's facing up against potentially two Atlas Pauldrons. Notorious Triad to make the call. They made the go. You can see that was aggressive. Treads in. Play block off the Blast Shimmer. Huge. Can they turn around? The Gauntlet comes on down. Notorious Triads can go ahead and fight around this. The Wolves still continuing to hammer on folks. It's just a so far they've caught a neil perfect they have to take the resin down juggle the damage juggle the damage arden stopping back he's staying alive no ticks down to the the tick damage now mesa moves in with that move speed from the active camera he's trying to get on target the glimmer shots do not connect but they would <laughs> ryan vg you played yourself kill the vox dude make him feel bad when you fail a wall jump you must pay for it this is ridiculous indeed we come up on the 20 minute mark of this game team gg up 25 to 10 starting to build upon this network lead they'll drop back for the ghost wing and how about that my next scoundrel the, the problem for notorious triad is they're, they're very good at dealing with the front line they had some great crucibles that time round. they blocked the tony ultimate which was trying to force ryan vg out of the fight they took down enil 
uh, who was obviously trying to threaten the back line too. But they don't have a solid way to get onto the Samuel or the Kestrel. They're so scared of getting forward to deal with Kestrel or to deal with Samuel that they don't want to move into a position where they're actually in range to do any damage. The, Ka the Catherine isn't really that tanky. She's gone for a semi-offensive Catherine build, which means she's super reliant on when Stop her Storm Shield is going to be up. I don't like Sorry, that. You don't like I, the Catherine build? Yeah, I don't like it. So I don't like the... I don't like the clockwork and the aftershock. I don't mind an aftershock on a Catherine that's attempting to be a top lane tank. But the problem is with this build specifically is you're ultra, ultra reliant on the cooldown of your storm shield. If your storm shield goes down, you're just basically a squishy. Well, it feels like even with her, she still feels squishy. So we'll see. Maybe uh, I, I'd like to be. I would like to see some surprises here. I always like to be caught off guard and see something uh, come out. But with the Ghostwing buff, Team GG make a very aggressive call. Look at Anil moving in. Another form detonator. I think lands onto three. He'll go ahead and trouble make back into a better. Oh, position. they got the Kestrel. They got oh. the Kestrel. Hey, some. Can he do back? Maysom stays alive for now. Maysom turns around. He's applying the damage. Tony with the bottom boom. Once again, he peels. But Lissandro. Lissandro's gotten in. Lissandro's getting damage on he gets the double kill it only took 21 minutes but excoundrel he has done it spicy fries being chased <laughs> down by ali poker over here and it looks like his teammates don't want to drop back and help him because they got some yummies for themselves they'll go to the liner liner he'll get some of that region they actually turn it around they take down ali poker but once again it's chibate interest is here interest is here to... who would have known 18 dragon stacks on the CP Idris is gonna start to deal some damage. He's still only got two items, by the way, Humanist. But the Slumbering Husk helped keep him alive long enough. He's now got 4k gold. He can uh, go and do something with it. He can go and do gold? something with it. 4k gold. He can go and buy some bloody minion candies. Time to he rename can... your team. That's a team name right there. 4k gold. I like it. Yeah. <sighs> but crucial part of that fight, which kind of almost threw it for Notorious Triad. Vox decided to dive the Kestrel, then had second thoughts when he was already in the middle of the team fight. You can't have which second was, thoughts. <laughs> you can't have second thoughts when you're trying to dive a Kestrel. He was like, ah, I appear to have gone too deep into the team fight. That's like I at should the turn altar getting cold feet. You're like, it's just a little too late there, bro. And he, he kind of turned around and he went, I should kite away now. Ah. I'm already here. I can't cut it away. I'll and use my reflex like... block to get out of something to save. Oh. <laughs> uh, but regardless, it was Lissandro that was the hero of that fight. He followed up and was the man where Vox couldn't be. Dived that back and killed the Kestrel, which really is the one target that you need to take down at this point in time. Twitch chat has informed me that Earth is actually the shape of a triangle. Ah, it's, it's a pyramid shape. Uh, That's ah, what actually realize. makes sense now. You know? Ah, that's how the Illuminati got their, their name and their symbol. Think about it. Ali Poker, ready with this bada boom, ready to reposition. Team Notorious Triads are in, man. They, these guys, they move in as a group. Very tanky, wait for it. That's a four man silence. The jump in from the glaive now. Can he get onto this Vox? No, they go for the, they go for the uh, I'm sorry, for the Kestrel. They focus her down. They have the secondary silence. They take the Kestrel down. That is the key damage output for Team GG. But Team GG turn it right back the other way. They take down the Idris. Anil, he needs to stay alive. Liner, he split apart from his team. Who's gonna be the next to fall here? Liner getting chased down by Ryan VG. Ryan VG can't find the kill. They do take down Anil. Afterburn forward. No, they can't get liner. Oh, goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Oh, it's it's the catch 22 of a team fight situation. As the Reza, especially, also as the Tony. Do I kill a Vox who's got four items? Or do I kill an Idris who's also got four items? Neither of them feel like the one that I don't want to focus. And that was the situation there. Idris became a primary target. Ryan ignored everybody and dived onto the Kestrel. And that gave them that hella sweet victory by taking out the uh, the Kestrel, which is obviously, like oh we said, God. the prime target. Love you. Did I, I just love say you. hella? Yeah. By the way, this is, a, this is a build that I have seen on uh, CP Idris sometimes. I've seen it a little bit in North America. You just add the poison shiv randomly for extra attack speed because there isn't really another good attack speed item for the cp variant of uh idris you, like there is nothing i mean you could i would probably think that tornado trigger is a solid shout but by going with the poison shiv you do give your team another bit of utility with the um the water wounds it's interesting i like it i think he's at a place to actually get a lot 
done. We got infusions pretty much on everybody across the board here. Ghostwing will be captured up, and Notorious Triads are in a very surprisingly great position to take this game. Yeah, they've hit that late game. They they kind of, apart from the Kestrel, who scales really well, most of their damage outscales what GG have brought to the table. Lissandro gets uh, isolated here, but the Slumbering Husk will save his life. And I did, actually did even, yeah, he did proc Slumbering Husk. So that will save his life for just the moment. Black Claw should be the next uh, point of focus for both of these teams, yes? Yeah, I think Black Claw definitely needs to be where you're focusing your efforts. It will be the game ender at this point. We're 25 minutes into the game. These have been some long games of Vainglory, by the way. Things can still go very wrong for Notorious Triad, but the Catherine is starting to do some serious damage as well with her build. I'm still not the biggest fan of nah, the clockwork after shot. Cath is feels like nothing here. So, oh, I mean, that's amazing. a big thing! Oh, you just threw your... But it acted, Gamma, he gets back, he repositions. Did they cancel off that gauntlet? They actually canceled off gauntlet here. Team GG, you gotta get back. It's time to tuck tail and run. You gotta maybe apply some damages to get back. Mason tries to find one, but he'll fall. Notorious tries haven't lost anybody. They tried to go for Ryan VG, but Ryan VG is too intelligent for that. Excalibur, he knew what the play would be. They take three, looking for four down to the bottom, up towards the north. It'll be Reza VG trying to jump on. Vox, but peeled by VJ Zero, and honestly, this should be the ace. Wow, you're gonna let Liner go? Is nice guys. These notorious triads, nicer than the triads that I know about. <laughs> yeah, these guys aren't that notorious. 500 IQ play coming up from Ryan VG. That he was like, I'm gonna make it look like I want to kill Reza, but I'm just gonna use my Sonic Zoom to get away when he tries to jump on me, and that baited him into his death. Like he said, this guy playing 4D chess on the Vainglory field right now. But it is uh, a simple conundrum of, like you said, the, the Glaive executed a really good afterburn onto Kestrel, who put herself out of position. That immediately put GG on the back foot. And then the Tony ultimate actually allowed Notorious to reset. The Tony ultimate allowed them to, to back off and just build free stacks because they all got put back into a position where they were on the back line again. They then war treads in and hunted down the rest of GG like dogs. It was, uh, it was just a brutal late game team fight coming out from Notorious Triad right now. Yeah, they're looking really strong right now. Fighting not only... Um, and rhythm of the game, but fighting with a gigantic fire-breathing dragon on the front side of things here. Uh, it'd be nice if uh, Ali could get over... Or no, that's VJ0 on the glaive. My bad, my bad. Uh, he'll get over here soon enough, but he can be a little bit stronger as soon as they get here. Now, Attack of the Pack has come out. It looks like Anil has made the call to go ahead and jump in. Now the from Detonator slams down. But that bot of boom will disrupt the fight. Let's see, can they take advantage of this? They want to get Ryan VG, but he's just kiting back. He's just laughing at Anil. He probably tweeted at him or his family while kiting back there. Mastery, you're going to go down as well. And Team GG, a solid defense and a bit of a throw here coming out yeah, no from uh, Notorious Triads. I mean, I know you want to deal with a side lane wave, VJ Zero, but that, I mean, why did the rest of the team commit four men versus a heavy engaged team? You've got a Tony and a Fortress. They're going to engage on you. That was just really silly. I mean, that was that was the silliest play I've seen from the whole of the European scene so far that we've had in VPL. It, you, you had the game in the palm of your hand. I mean, I still think they're in a good position because the enemy team can't capitalize that on any objectives apart from Ghost Wing, which only doesn't really make a big impact to the way that the, the map feels. But why, why try to like, uh, like taunt them into a four versus five humanist? What was the point in that? Um, ragging, there was no point. right? No, so you could tell your friends on disc player how cool and good you are. Yeah, I mean, if you want to Bro, I'm so good that these guys couldn't even take me four versus five. We, did, we even did a stream. Well, okay, Facebook messenger your mum and say, hey mum, I just threw the game. Four versus um, five, because well, we thought we were I'm cool. Do not disturb mode, and mom's not gonna text me, and I'm not about to get in and start texting. Well, regardless, silly decision. Look at this though. The um, poison chip has been sold by Lissandro, and now he's gone for an even harvest. So he just wants to go for the sustain in these fights. Uh, he was caught out of position right there. The glaive wasn't there to try and isolate the, the Kestrel, and the glaive is uh, for me a crucial component of this fight. I feel like oh, she yeah. just needs to be there. Uh, he needs but, to be there. And we've seen the glaive like going in and dying, but it doesn't matter because his job reposition the enemy like deeper into the jaws of our damage or peel for one of our damage dealers and he does that job incredibly well doesn't matter if he dies as long as he gets that done in the beginning of the fight mastery pretty tanky will just absorb that one shot as it flies out 
this is a positioning game right now. Um, Torius Triads do have vision over this brush, so if they are chased down by Team GG, they'll see them move here. This will be a little battle over the vision through this river point. It looks like Notorious Triads are really going to respect what GG have to offer here. As they just very slowly move back, you see this kind of force, uh, this forced standoff. It's Notorious Triads. Okay, War Triads, this is the call to go. Who's going to be marked? Mastery is marked. But the jump in, Anil, he's going to go onto the Vox. Vox kiting back here. Anil leaves himself isolated. Will the Res go down? No, Res stays alive. Blast Hammer actually flies back the other way. And this gauntlet... Oh, Kestrel's dead! Yeah, they've got the Kestrel. And they'll, they'll chase down looking for more now. Look at also, you got Dragon's Eye stacks, you got Breaking Point stacks. The, the only chance for Team GG is to turn it around and maybe try to find something. It, once again, they'll take down the Glaive, but that doesn't really matter. That's not the big damage dealer. Over for uh, Notorious Triads. And Reza will be second to go down. Liner maybe takes down the Arden there. Nah, he stays alive. Either. And a great turnaround from Notorious Triads. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, but look at the Ryan. He's so low. He's going to go down to the Vein Crystal. And Catherine might have overextended here. It may look like a done deal, but honestly, I, I feel like that actually was a moderately even team fight given the way that it started out. Uh, one of the problems that I think they're having is once their engage is done and once Glaive is down, you can't chase the Samuel. Don't chase. It's like, it's like chasing a singed in League of Legends. Don't chase the Samuel, dude. I don't know about this game that you're talking about. And what, what 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 do you do in Dota 2? Who's who's a hero in Dota 2 that you just don't chase because he's because he'll turn it around? I don't know. I'm not very good at that game. Um, <laughs> honestly, uh, I can't think of something off the top of my head. But obviously, they're they're going to be those kind of. I mean, in, in, in that is that is kind of a loaded question because it depends like completely on item builds I, and I, I literally don't know anything about dota 2 so you know it's, it's just literally me asking a question that i have no background knowledge on so i'm just gonna let you off on that one yeah put you in, a, put, put, put you okay. in an awkward I'll, position i'll answer in like 10 minutes dota, dota 2 is far more complex than league of legends so <laughs> yeah i mean there are probably multiple heroes that you want to do that in i mean the the, the main point is they have a mechanic where they can fire damage uh, basically at you while running backwards. Can they reposition yeah. quickly to dodge the damage that you're putting out? Um, so, so, are, they playing, so, so, are they applying damage to the ground that they're running away on? We'll see. Oh, oh. taunt onto the Idris! Yeah, taunt onto the Idris. Literally perfect here at this point, but a Shimmer Strike almost enough to down! Half Team GG done it! They're moving! The Vox can take down it. the art, and that's three kills next schedule. They'll chase down with the pack because it's an attack of the pack at this point. The Neil going onto the Glaive. But look at this. How about that? Glaive is the only one to stay alive, and this is the only one that it doesn't really matter if he dies. Have Team GG just done it? It looks like they have. It looks like they've taken game two. They've tied up this series one to one. Oh my goodness. 33 minutes in, and we will be going to a game three. Oh! Hey, mum. Four versus five works out. And then I face checked the shop brush. That triggers me.